we'll having discussion about the thematic discussion as well in the meeting having said this i would like to have a warm welcome to our president and meeting leader of today's meeting mr pawan joshi the mic is yours thank you mohan for your warm welcome and good morning all of you once again we are again back with a new energy with our new brand new meeting meeting number 170 because previous meeting were not registered as official so we decided to set this meeting as 170 so with a new theme today it's never too late it's never too late to start a new beginning it's never too late to start a new chapter so we thought of starting again reviving again in this meeting so let's move to our meeting which is 170 and introduce our role takers for today so today we have grammarian as speaker mohan oyer i would like to request speaker mohan to tell something about his role and announce word of the day uh, thank you so much meeting leader uh, in today's meeting i am taking a role of grammarian as we all know grammar is like an ingredient to any conversation a good grammar helps a person to convey his or her words to the listener very easily it's easily understandable and you we, you can get feedback as well so grammar is very much essential uh, in communication without a proper grammar you cannot lead a good conversation you cannot communicate well you cannot convey your meaning well having said this today as a grammarian i will be noting the various errors if any of the speakers and whoever speaks during the meeting discussion i'll be noting down the any kind of grammatical errors if i find and at last i'll provide my grammarian report as per my findings thank you so much thank you thank you speaker mohan ayer for your wonderful words next we have fellow counter as speaker tulada dahal speaker tulada will you please explain your role yes hi i am going to what's the filler words what filler words are filler words are the unnecessary words and unnecessary gestures of a speaker and they are depends on the speaker and language pattern according to the language uh, we speakers like start and um, try to fill the gaps when when we are uh, like i just said ah uh, like that which if the filler words long pause short pause are using correctly and when they can give flavor and speech that is okay for speech but if they are giving making the language ugly they counted as they are counted as filler words they are like um mm, a ah, repetitions like 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 that you know i mean what i mean uh, yes sir what i mean like that especially i am going to count today a a um short pause repetition long pause yes at the end i'll tell the report in front of you thank you so much thank you so much speaker tulada for your wonderful explanation of filler counter hope everybody now knew what filler counting report is and how they can cope with it so next role we have is timer and because of two members so i'll be taking role of timer i will share my screen with you it is disabled i guess so so i can send this okay we can manage this later so like uh, in timer you know, the role of timer is very very important and as we all know that we should be in time we should be with time and 
for the first minimum time you will be shown green then yellow then red card and after red card uh, or red light you have to end up your speech so you have summarized speech and even after 40 more seconds you cannot summarize speech so you will be muted and so please be with time so you know that what time you have to speak so i'll be sharing this slide with project maybe you can share it so this was all about our uh, introduction of role takers and the next important role we have is the meeting evaluator i would like to request the speaker project to explain his role as well okay thank you very much meeting leader so uh, it's been a long time since we've you know, sat around the meeting. So obviously we all have become a little, little bit rusty, I think. There's that quote, no two days you forget a little bit. In one week you, you forget most of them and in 21 days you forget everything. And I think it's been more than 21 days since we've sat on, sat on a meeting. So I think we've forgotten some things or maybe have become, you know, a little rusty. And this session will obviously help fill up that gap and maybe even make this better. So, <clears throat> according, right according to the name, the evaluation session. Uh, no spoilers. So, back to you, meeting leader. Okay, thank you, thank you, Pratik. I'm just sharing this. I forgot to announce word of the day, Pavan. Uh, okay, you can continue. Uh, the word of the day for today's meeting is rollick. The meaning for this word is move or behave in carefree, joyous manner. For example, I'm having a rollicking good time. So if we are able to use this word in our speech or any kind of conversation during the meeting, you'll be getting huge round of applause. And it will also help you to remember or memorize a new word today. Thank you so much. Okay, probably can you just save that slide I have sent you in chat box? Maybe you can share the green, yellow, and red signal for the timing. Okay, it's been a long gap that we haven't had a formal meeting and uh, it can be seen in our speaking as well. You know, whenever you go to new places and you haven't spoken for a long time and you may see it's like that um, you might lose some sort of confidence and in day to day if you are speaking with your friends speaking with your colleagues and attending this sort of meetings and the confidence will be seen in your speaking as well that's what i have realized and i have recently joined emb and then, and we were you know like it was like one and a half months we haven't been in the meeting so while speaking i could see myself that or i couldn't speak fluently and this sort of you know i couldn't speak that whatever i wanted to speak so there was a lack of confidence and it was you know because of practice as well. So I hope we all will join these um, sort of meetings regularly. So we have one beautiful session coming up today with uh, Speaker Rosni Pandey conducting Hot Topic session. So I would like to request Speaker Rosni to, you know, first tell the ground rules of Hot Topic session, what Hot Topic session and how it is conducted and its timing rules and begin with your session accordingly. So please help me welcome Speaker Rosni. Uh, thank you so much, Pavan, guys. Good morning, everyone. I am your hot topic master for today's session. So basically, what hot topic session is? Uh, it's a session like which is designed for our guests, basically, and it's like a impromptu session in which you don't know about the questions, and you have to speak uh, for two minutes. For two minutes, so you will have two minutes for the specific topic, and you need to speak on that. Uh, specific topic so hot topic hot topic session is it and i'm your hot topic master i hope that you will show your in, in, involvement i'm sorry having some issues so let's go ahead shall we start, shall i start give me a thumbs up okay thank you rustin so my first question is uh, what were you most afraid of as a kid Please unmute yourself and come forward. May I? Uh, yes, Go ahead. I think in, in most afraid of ghost. I never see ghost, but I 
uh, heard the story of both lots of lots types of boats. My brother, my sister, and we three uh, come together and uh, heard the story, tell the story with each other. We told like that in childhood. And when door opens and some sounds come, weird sounds come, and I afraid. Even today, something is, uh, this sounds like a ghost when, even today I scared, like, but not much like that uh, time, but still I'm, it triggers me. Yeah, that's all. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am, for your beautiful speech. So I have another question. Uh, which historical figure would you want to meet and why? Which historical figure would you want to meet and why? Unmute yourself. Uh, anyone? Maybe you can just pick one of them. Okay, I will pick you, Askin. I have a speech. <laughs> Come on, you should give a chance to other people. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll get it. Uh, more guys. It, it, it's, it's like the, the session, it came impromptu in my mind. I'm just, it's just my assumption. I'm just thinking about this. I was just trying to say, I have been hearing about Madan Bhandari a lot. I have heard his speeches. I've heard that he was like, what kind of communist he was. If I ever get chance to meet him, or I wish he was alive. I, he, the, from his speech, what I have got that he was really a real communist. What he used to think about the power, position, wealth, and all. So if I got a chance to meet a historic person, I would have met Madan Bandari and interviewed him, how he would lead this corrupted Nepal ahead. I wish he was alive. The way he speaks, the way he, his, the vision and mission he had in his mind, I think he might, do something better than these fake communism these days. So that's the, this was the improved to th thought I got in my mind. If I get a chance to meet a historic person, I would have chose to meet, meet uh, Mr. Madan Bandari and know his vision mission for the development and growth of Nepal. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mondai. And the last question, is uh, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Uh, Yogin sir, I want to listen you. I want to listen your speech. Yogin sir, are you, are you with us? Yes, I am. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you for the beautiful um, topic today. It is very important to make you a plan that must be immediate plan, short-term plan, mid-term plan, and long-term plan that must be goals or your life mission or uh, your life plan for living in a better way. So talking about my 10 years plan, that is not the long-term plan. That must be my mid-term plan in 10 years. I will be as a head of a very renowned and good company 
or I will be doing a nice business of my choice. I have first priority to lead a company as a, a first man. And uh, you know it that I'm involved in insurance industry. Maybe that will be my choice, my first choice. And in that first choice, my priority will go to life insurance industry. And uh, you can note down in your diary for me that you can hit me, you can pinch me, you can force me, and you, you can ask me in between, Mr. Khatiwara, where are you? And are you on the right track to meet your goal? Or are you ready to meet your, catch your mission? You can ask in between even Roshni who is asking this question that where you will be in 10 years down then you can note it down and you can ask me in between. You can give me the suggestions even that everyone please remind me that I, I will be able to meet my mission and uh, I will get that chance to lead a company and to give a message to the society that if you plan, you can meet your plan, you can do better. Back to you, Hot Topic Master. Thank you so much, sir, for such a, such a hot answer. <laughs> I will remind you, obviously, and I will take the suggestion from you too. So, and this is the session and it ends here. We will do it in another meeting. Back to you, uh, team. Back to you, meeting leader. Thank you, Rosmi, for your beautiful session. It was really wonderful, and the participation was overwhelming. And the next session we are now having is the preparatory session, where we have one speaker, Speaker Ruskin. So I don't think I need to tell you about Speaker Ruskin, and you will know him very, very well. He's a wonderful speaker. And he will be delivering speech on the speech structure part one. And he will have a two part today. The first one will be he'll show us one speech and then he will analyze that speech. And he is being evaluated by Speaker Yogendra. So I would like to request Speaker Yogendra to tell the objectives of Speaker Ruskin. Thank you. Uh... Pavan. Speaker Roskin is uh, present his uh, first uh, project and then he is evaluating that. His main goal, he is uh, uh, basic uh, education path, project four, part one, is speech is structure. Uh, he, the main goal are about the main structure ends of a speech, like opening body and conclusion. The length of each of these layers, the transitions where uh, would be very smooth. Learn uh, the next objective is about the limitation of the audience when listening to your speech and uh, your time is four to six minutes and th that must be uh, that would be uh, how long i don't know the speech uh, uh, what you are presenting but when uh, giving analysis your time is four to six minutes back to you Over. okay shall i start now Okay, I'm going to show you a short three minute video. And the topic of this video is trying something new for 30 days. A few years ago, I felt like I was stuck in a rut. So I decided to follow in the footsteps of the great American philosopher, Morgan Spurlock, and try something new for 30 days. The idea is actually pretty simple. 
Think about something you've always wanted to add to your life and try it for the next 30 days. It turns out 30 days is just about the right amount of time to add a new habit or subtract a habit, like watching the news from your life. There's a few things that I learned while doing these 30-day challenges. The first was, instead of the months flying by forgotten, the time was much more memorable. This was part of a challenge I did to take a picture every day for a month. And I remember exactly where I was and what I was doing that day. I also noticed that as I started to do more and harder 30-day challenges, my self-confidence grew. I went from desk-dwelling computer nerd to the kind of guy who bikes to work for fun. Even last year, I ended up hiking up Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest mountain in Africa. I would never have been that adventurous before I started my 30-day challenges. I also figured out that if you really want something badly enough, you can do anything for 30 days. Have you ever wanted to write a novel? Every November, tens of thousands of people try to write their own 50,000 word novel from scratch in 30 days. It turns out all you have to do is write 1,667 words a day for a month. So I did. By the way, the secret is not to go to sleep until you've written your words for the day. You might be sleep deprived, but you'll finish your novel. Now, is my book the next great American novel? No, I wrote it in a month. It's awful. <laughs> but for the rest of my life, if I meet John Hodgman at a TED party, I don't have to say, I'm a computer scientist. No, no, if I want to, I can say, I'm a novelist. <laughs> So here's one last thing I'd like to mention. I learned that when I made small, sustainable changes, things I could keep doing, they were more likely to stick. There's nothing wrong with big, crazy challenges. In fact, they're a ton of fun, but they're less likely to stick. When I gave up sugar for 30 days, day 31 looked like this. <laughs> so here's my question to you. What are you waiting for? I guarantee you the next 30 days are going to pass whether you like it or not. So why not think about something you have always wanted to try and give it a shot for the next 30 days. Thanks. So the video that you just watched is a TED speech. It was given by Matt Gotts back in 2011. Although it's uh, nine years old, I think it's quite relevant for us too. So the topic is quite simple, trying something new for 30 days. The audience that it targets are the audience like me who has a routine task and does not have much time to do new things. Um, the context of his speech is, I believe, is personal development and it's in persuasive in nature where, where he tries to persuade his audience what he thinks is better for everyone. Um, so let's go in terms of structure. Obviously this speech has a clear opening, the body and the conclusions. Uh, what I'd like to stress mostly on our uh, opening part is the grabbing the attention. Um, um, if you guys have noticed, he uh, initiated uh, with his example, and uh, he grabbed the audience by showing a filmmaker's uh, picture. So immediately audience was quite familiar with this. So this is something that I like in the opening part. And in the body part, what I liked, what I admire most is he's, he has uh, limited his points to three points. I think it's quite good. Anything more than that would have been longer. Anything shorter than that would, not, would have been very low in context. And also there is a quite a small short story in the body which i'll talk in next in my next point and the last thing the conclusion um the main factor that uh, makes this conclusion good is that uh, the speaker has called for an action is it not only summarized the whole speech he called for action for the audience to start something new so um moving to my second point i wanted to focus on the transitions now during my speech as well i find it quite difficult for transitioning 
uh, opening to body and more importantly from body to conclusion what he did was quite easily so um after mentioning after attaining the uh, attention of audience he mentioned why it was important and immediately after that he shared his experiences which is related to what he said in the opening part and um the important uh, important part uh, for me is from moving from body to conclusion um normally how i do is i just abruptly end the body part and start with in conclusion or something like in summary and what he did was he ended the body part with uh, humor in the audience by uh, sharing his picture of the chocolates and after that uh, laugh in the audience he, he he easily went for the conclusion by opening with the question so that is something that i am admired um and third thing i wanted to mention is the story in the body what i've noticed in this body part is that um, there is a chronological order in his three points he started out with the uh, benefits of doing new things as a memorable thing followed by a simple task he did which is taking a photography the second thing he mentioned was uh, self confidence and he and this uh, benefit was followed by his uh, activity of uh, hiking to mount kilimanjaro which is a, a difficult task compared to the first uh, exercise and the last thing was writing a novel so you can see a chronological order from easy steps to slightly difficult step and more difficult step so in this way the audience can relate from easy to difficult tasks i think uh, the transition of this point a to point b within the body is also quite commendable um and the last thing i wanted to focus on is the vocal variety and the body language uh, why i wanted to mention in vocal variety is uh, because normally when i speak i speak in a straight line uh, i don't have much of a vocal variety although i try it and uh, especially i admire when he uh, mentioned in the last part saying that no as a stroke in one month it made audience chuckle so that kind of vocal variety is quite important it does not make speech boring um which is something i need to learn a lot and the last thing the body language uh, i think the speaker easily rollicked from point a to point b uh, while giving uh, his while explaining his point um so in summary uh, i would rate this speech uh, 4 out of 5 it was simple it was short and grabbed audience and it also called for the actions and i think it has got everything uh, speech needs um uh, from easy transitions to uh, vocal variety and body languages uh, thank you very much for this rascal is a wonderful speech and the video i really like that and that was really inspiring and hope i'll be able to adopt something from that speech and this was all about our uh, second session that was prepared session and we had only one speaker today and let's have some discussion about how theme is never too late so if you any of us want to share like voluntary that uh, was there any moment that uh, it was you know that you started a new chapter and it went out to be successful one you know if any of you us want to share a story like maybe in your real life event or you have heard of you, about your friend or relatives that uh, you know you completely change something is there any moment in your life if you want to share or oh, you can just simply give a motivational theme discuss thematic decision like why do you think that it's never too late so can you start from prati maybe what do you think about this theme it's never too late it's never too late okay so i've got an example that i think i've already said before so there was this uh, kid you know a little kid who was 9 years old and he thought you know what i'm going to learn how to play the guitar and then he grabs a guitar you know asks his parents they buy him a guitar maybe christmas maybe dosai maybe tiar maybe you know his birthday he gets a guitar he starts playing it he goes to the internet and sees somebody else playing the guitar way better than him and he's like ah, i'm never going to be as good as this so i'm not going to play the guitar 
So he puts his guitar in the corner. And then he turns to be 12 years old and he sees the guitar and he's like, you know what? I'm going to play the guitar. So he grabs the guitar and same thing. He starts playing it, maybe one song that he likes, maybe happy birthday, who knows? And then he sees in the internet somebody playing a guitar better than him. Okay. And then he's like, eh, I'm never going to be as good as him. So I'm just going to not play this. And he puts the guitar in the corner. And now he's 15 years old. The same thing repeats. And now he's 19 years old. Same thing repeats. Now he's 20 years old. And now he's in a Zoom call in Saturday in all the because Kathmandu right now, right here. And his name is Pradik Sarma Farid. And he's still looking at that guitar in the corner. Never played it. It's just catching dust. Not only with the guitar, but with the piano also. Right there, both things. And now I'm thinking, if I had started when I was nine years old, how good would I have been? Maybe I would have already been better than that guy who played the piano or played the guitar that I saw there. So just using myself as a bad example, I'd like to say it's never too late to start. If you start earlier, you become better faster. If you start later, you just have less time to become better. So start right now rather than just wasting years and years of not starting right now. And that's my thought. Thank you. That was wonderful hearing from you. And, you know, we have seen uh, many news like, you know, grandfather and grandson giving exam together and grandfather finally getting British court and grandson. So it's never too late that you start studying together or it's never too late that you ha are having a new things. You know, it's never too late, actually. You can always start, you know, what you like, what are you good at, or if you want to learn something, you can learn it right now. It's never too late. So. And anyone want to say anything? Anyone? Yeah, uh, first of all, I think Pratik, same thing happened to me. Come on, it started from teenage days. I even bought a secondhand guitar, but still, yeah. <laughs> but I think someday, yeah, I, will, I hope I will try it. So um, similarly, I have the uh, same kind of experience. In fact, I would say that I still have that kind of feeling that it's too late. Oh, I think. I would have been much better if I have learned much earlier. I still have that kind of regrets, uh, but still I, at this stage, I think I have uh, realized a lot that um, it's never too late. Uh, fair example would be, um, I think would be my reading habits. Uh, up until when I was uh, 22 years old, I hadn't read much book. And um, during my 25s, I used to regret that if I had read a lot of book, I would have got a lot of better at my job at my studies so um in my late 25 years i think i started reading books so that's a plus story and on the negative side yeah i had uh, i suck at playing guitar i suck at um, most of the athletic games even in football whenever i go to play with my friends i wish i had scored much more goals i wish i had played much more when i was a teenager so those kind of regrets happen but still um, uh, back of mind, I do realize that there is, it's never too late. You just have to find a, a lot of time during your busy schedule. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for yeah, that. I have also a story yeah. about myself. When I was in, I was in plus two. Um, when I finished college, I at uh, in class twelve. Uh, I started uh, teaching and after that I became vice pr um, principal in one school and four years I continue this job. After that I left the job and go to join the bachelor degree. After three years study, I finished and it and I continuously I did the masters. And it is never too late. After four years, I never thought that I again go to college and get degree. Uh, in my life, it's that type of condition comes and go. Lots of, lots of. <laughs> I don't know even today <laughs> what happens <laughs> like that. It, it is not too late for anything. 
Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you, Tulada, ma'am. And for others, if you want to share, we'll come back to you again after evaluation session. And now we're moving to evaluation session. And I would like to request okay. the evaluator of today, Speaker Pratik, to continue his session. Thank you very much, meeting leader. So I had, you know, kind of a little bit, uh, what do you call that? Mm, tease it a little bit about the evaluation session. And now here we are, time passes by so fast. So welcome to the evaluation session. In this session, we'll be evaluating you. Now evaluating might sound like a big scary word <laughs> to everybody because you know, it's like report card, oh, you know, what's gonna happen? So it's nothing like that. We're just gonna, you know, have pretty, pretty uh, positive criticism and make ourselves better or reach the place that we were before. So <clears throat> without further ado, the first session we have is obviously direct evaluation. And as our August speaker Yogendra has said what to what Roskin has to do, now he'll say what he did. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome August speaker Yogendra, please. bringing a speech to the audience, presenting it, engaging them, and closing it, giving them something to bring home. It a challenging job for a leader. So as to our speaker Roskin, who is seasoned speaker, an impromptu idea giver always he is always ready to give something new to the audience and even today he has bought a nice speech given by someone who was there to engage the audience giving his own experience sharing it and giving some ideas to change their minds to trying something new in just 30 days times, that must be very short term. While analyzing that speech by our speaker, Ruskin, it was very nice flow, nice transition, adding some points in between, analyze that speaker to uh, to bring that points to our speakers, our audience, and giving some own ideas from that. He was pointing that even I, when I speak, I'm not able to make that transition from opening to body to uh, closing. That is very unique given by you today. When you were giving your opening, that was good. But if you wanted, if you want to make it better, you can add giving some quotations or something new in that that could be good in opening part. Talking about body, you were uh, connecting to one one points to another and uh, adding some sub points. But in between, if you could ask the question to the audience and bring uh, and give the points or ideas, if you connect that, that could be much better. And uh, talking about uh, vocal variety of that speaker, you could add that you can make your vocal variety when, if you go the long journey like this, and it is better to bring that that you you can uh, combine that those uh, vocal varieties. Uh, talking about transition, you have better transition than that speaker, what I felt so. Besides this, all for the action is most important from that speaker to you to deliver it to your audience. That is more important. Besides this, you have done a great job. If you could 
uh, make it relate to those uh, uh, feedbacks that I have given in opening body and conclusion part, uh, you have justified your analysis that you can do like this, 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 it would be better like this. Uh, on and all, you have done a nice job. You have met the objectives of the project and we are hungry, we are eager to listen your more projects in days to come. Congratulations, you have completed this project. Thank you so much for the nice presentation, nice uh, analysis, and nice speech. Thank you for the feedback. Okay. Very helpful. Thank you, very helpful. Uh, Pratik. OK. Thank you very much, evaluator, direct evaluator. So one question before we go, who is this Orogin Healthcare? I just noticed right now. No idea? Okay, no problem then. So I was just curious, no problem. So Some company is joining us. Excuse me? Some organization, I guess. <laughs> like healthcare. Yes. So interesting. Initially, so, initially, I was there, uh, Agorian Healthcare. <laughs> I, I, I read like this. I also thought of that. I'm like Ayurvedic, I guess. <laughs> Later okay. on, I thought of again. Okay, no uh, sorry, sorry to. No, no problem. Okay, so the next one. Now, that was the end of direct evaluation session. We had one speaker, although very fantastic. We had one speaker, and our one indirect evaluation is over. Now, the next one is indirect evaluation. And for the indirect evaluation, uh, the first person I'd like to call is Grammarian with their Grammarian report, which is Congressman Mohan Ayer. So please, the stage is yours. Thank you so much, meeting evaluator Pratik. Uh, talking about grammar today, it was really a wonderful session. There were few grammatical errors I got to notice. But like uh, in Tulaja Ma'am's speech, I found like she said, I never see ghost, ghost, but like when you are talking about past, you yeah. use past in like, I never saw ghost. Uh, like sometimes she used the sentence like, where sounds come, I afraid. It was like, there was some kind of grammatical mismatch. Uh, but there were not much errors. In Ruskin's speech, I found he is fond of using and so many times. In his speech, he was using and, 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 uh, that was the somehow mismatch of grammar I found in his speech. And the word of the day was used by Ruskin Marjan. He was round of applause for him. It was only used once. So this was the Grammarian report from my side. It was really wonderful session. Thank you. Back to you meeting evaluator. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, I see you, Mohan Ayer. I, I, I thought, I was thinking I'd use the word today, but it slipped my mind as well. So <laughs> that's what it means to be rusty, I guess. <laughs> it's been so long. So the next one is uh, the filler word counting report with Agra Speaker Tula Nadal. So please. Yes, I'm here with filler word counting report. I couldn't find any filler words today. Um, besides some uh, repetitions of Pratik, he, he used lots of you know, and um, Roskin, he already said, Mohan he already said, and, and like that. And Yogendra saw uh, some thought pauses. Uh, and besides that, I couldn't find anything. It may be my mistakes or my lack of knowledge and lack of observation, or we are going perfect. I don't know. I wish second is the true. That's my old report of the uh, filler or counting. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much. So, uh, before the last report, time report, I'll give my overall evaluation so that I myself can be also timed. So, one second timer. <laughs> so, my report. 
uh, today's meeting, it, it's been so long that I, that I, I, that I didn't even notice that I already forgot the format of the meeting itself. So I have to open an agenda sheet in the site and just look at it. You know, what is going to happen now? What's going to happen? So <laughs> even it felt like I was out of loop. But today's meeting, it started on, it started decently on time. We were better than before with our timing. I think we started at 10, 8, 10, something like that. So rather than before, it was way better. So let's get better and get to 8 o'clock. Uh, the meeting before the meeting, our meeting leader obviously has been trying to get a meeting from the last week, not just this week. So it's been two weeks of effort to get this meeting going on. So one big round of applause for our meeting leader here, our right, speaker Paul, and sir, for pulling through and getting us all together and letting us all experience Agora once again for a very long time. The theme of the meeting is very nice. <clears throat> it's been used nicely and we're still going to discuss about it after some time. The word of the day is a nice, nice word of the day, but it wasn't used as much. Even I myself forgot. And the meeting itself now. Um, our meeting leader has done a phenomenal job, as he always does. You know, just conducting the meeting, introducing, introducing people, conducting the meeting. You know, I said the same thing twice, so he's done a good job. Our hot topic speech session. So. One thing I'd like to say about hot topic is these days, these days it feels like rather than hot topic, it's become a hot question session. You know, there's only questions. It's not a hot question session. It's a hot topic session. You're supposed to give a topic, not a question. So every time it starts with whether WH question or a how question is all that. How do you feel about this? Where do you want to go? Or what would you do if you went to the past or something like that, right? So. I would like to see more topics rather than only questions. And with questions, there's always a limitation of answering them. With topics, there's no limitation. You can always get creative with it, you know? Uh, so that's that's one thing I'd like to say. But otherwise, it was conducted beautifully. A good job. Or as speaker Roshni, the topics were good, uh, rather than the questions were good. And the speakers themselves also gave good answers. Tulaza with uh, a very good answer. Uh, Mohan Ayer with the second topic, he talked about some good points about modern Bhandari. And Yogendra, he's always been logical and apparently he has all these plans sorted out for the next 10 years, I found out. So in the prepared speech session, so Roskin, we are one speaker, Roskin Mohan doing speech structure, the fourth project's first part, analysis. I think this was his first analysis. Or have you done an analysis before? No, first analysis. Okay, so uh, it just felt like he was, you know, he had already done an analysis. He was just doing it again. So that's why I asked again. It was a very good analysis. It was good and thorough, and the speech itself was good. And I like this limitation that the uh, guidelines also removed of the time limitation of speeches. Before you had to do an exact speech of either eight to 10 minutes. And if you found a speech that was good, if it was longer, you couldn't use it. If it was shorter, you couldn't use it. So I like that they removed this limitation. It's very good to see more speeches coming through now. One thing I want to say. So the thematic discussion now after that, it was very lively and many people talked. It was very positive, and I'm looking forward to the thematic discussion coming in after this uh, session. Evaluation session, direct evaluation. As all of you, Yogendra, always good as always with his evaluation. He gave a lot of positive feedback to Ruskin, and I, I'm sure he uh, listened to it and thought about it, and will think about it. And in inv indirect evaluation. Our grammar in our speaker Mohan, he gave a good evaluation. One thing I'd like to say is using names in grammar and evaluation has always been a type of a taboo. But I think it's okay to use names in grammar and evaluation as long as you don't use name for new members. I would say if there are new members or guests, just don't use their names. They'll find out themselves if they want to. But for old members, it's okay to use their names because we're all trying to become better. For new members, it might feel a little bit rude. I, I'm not sure. But for old members, there's no problem with that. Filler word counter. The report itself was good. We're all doing our best. Maybe we did so good that we didn't have a lot of filler words. But the reporting was there was no problem with reporting. You didn't give a uh, you did this number of this, you did this number of this, but the report itself came through. You know, Yogi and the did this, I did my you know and short pauses, and there was the report itself. It was good. There was no problem. And that with that, my evaluation ends here. So over to you, timer. Please give us our timing report. Over script forward.
Okay, so today in hot topic session, uh, speaker Tulada she spoke for 59 seconds, and in the time was one to two minutes. And second speaker Mohan, he spoke for one minute and 25 seconds, and we had third speaker in the same session, speaker Yogendra, he spoke for two minutes and 14 seconds, and the final speaker for today in prepared session, the one and only speaker, Speaker Raskin, he spoke for five minutes and 15 seconds. So thank you. So I will only note for speakers only today. Did you show timing card for me? No, no. We use for Raskin only, I guess. No, I was about to share it, but I couldn't share it in the one. Yeah, it caught my attention. I didn't know you were try showing it mobile. <laughs> I was quite distracted with that. <laughs> good, one good thing. I don't. I didn't want to share the screen because when you share the screen in the recording, it just shows this big screen and a little bit of a person head. So it just the recording becomes bad due to the share screen. I have to think alternative of timer. I don't know how can we manage this. Also, with the interaction, this is good because all of us are showing videos. I think this is more uh, closer to having a face-to-face -face reaction. So yeah, I think yeah. this is going even good. My, even my suggestion is to let's uh, let's share that timing card because we are here to improve. No, no. Next time we can the timer can yes. use the background. No, sure. even I my this green wall in the behind that can become red, yellow, or green. So even with this much, it should be enough. And somebody we can put somebody in technical support that will make the timer screen bigger or spotlight video give them post or something. So. Next time we can prepare for that rather than impromptu only trying to do so. So there, there are methods, there's no problem. I just didn't want to share the screen to the recording. It just shows this big green thing. And then there's this little small person just talking. So rather than that, I didn't want to do that. That's the thing. So uh, that was the evaluation session. So thank you everybody for listening to my evaluation. And I hope you all take something from that I've said and something from everybody that has shared their opinions here. Now, uh, back to you, meeting leader. So that was it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for speaking. It was a wonderful session. Uh, so I would like to request our speaker Yogendra for the concluding remark at the end. But before that, if anyone wants to share about theme again, so if you have anything to share, so we will. I, I forgot about one thing. Uh, I realized that I should have joined. I used to uh, regret that I should have joined a speakers club much earlier. And uh, I realized this, so even in after work, and I'm enjoying this. Just wanted to share this. Yeah, it actually, you, actually works. You know, you may not realize that recently that you have improved or not, but when you find a real case that you have to speak up, then it really works a lot. You will realize at the end that you did a wonderful job joining this sort of club. So. Anybody else want to speak up on theme or anything you want to say? You are free now. I'd like to speak on theme a few, for a few minutes. Go ahead. Well, I'm just sharing a story I have just was a few days ago. Yesterday also I was about, it is about the Masala King of India how he managed from rags to riches. He's none other than Mr. Mahase Dharampal Gulati. We all know the brand MDH. I knew, I came to knew that, well, there was separation between India and Pakistan. He was in, he got separated to India side and he moved to Delhi with rupees 1500 in his pocket, I guess. He was a, working as a rickshaw puller in Delhi when he started, before he started this masala business, he was in rickshaw pulling job. He uh, saved certain money and he tried several five, six ventures, but he failed in all those. Then finally, he came into this masala business and with 1500 cash in his pocket. Now he, he passed away a few days back at the age of 98. With 1500 rupees in his pocket, now he has left 5,000, more than 5,000 crores of empire to his inheritance, to his son and to his, to his family. So 
what I learned from a small clip of his lifeline is what he was at the time, how he changed himself. After failing in six new ventures, he tried also, he never lost hope. He never got afraid of change. So it's never too late to be what you might have been, or it's never too late to make things right. So with 1500 rupees, now you can see the empire of 5,000 crores. You can see the change. So it's never too, too late to start a new beginning. Thank you so much. I think the one it was really wonderful and inspiring. So maybe we are at the end of the meeting. So I would like to request the speaker, you're going to wrap up the meeting with closing remarks. Uh, uh, thank you, meeting leader Pawan. Uh, I don't uh, have those uh, wrappers, wrapper papers meeting again. And uh, a speaker Tulaza is long way from that another another part of the earth, and we are here from our part of the earth. And uh, after many weeks, how many weeks? I think. Uh, Three, three weeks back, uh, we are all together. And uh, we expect uh, uh, from Madam Tulaza Ma'am to lead the meeting in next week. I, I propose you to lead the meeting as a meeting leader. Uh, if you are no, ready, no. very quick. Sorry. Sorry, I am not sure about my schedule. So I cannot promise it. <laughs> you can. Come in between, no problem. Oh yeah. In between, but make in make it in your mind that uh, I have oh, yeah. that leadership role. Of course. So it of is course. my request. I'm not. Um, I'm not going to uh, give uh, the particular person to person and role to role evaluation or feedbacks here. I'm here to give my closing remarks. Before that, talking about the theme of the uh, meeting that I wanted to share that that thing, if you do in early days, you get into the track of your life, of your daily life, that is not other than yoga and meditation. Early in 2000, 2000, 2001, that one of my friends have shared some tricks of yoga and meditation. And later, we, uh, that, that discontinued. And I always eager and hungry to get detailed benefits or detailed ideas, detailed uh, tips to follow it. Later in 2009 and 10, I got chance to get uh, five days training session. And that also was not continued. I again uh, stayed hungry to get that. That hunger drives to me to 2015 and 16. Finally, I got chance to get to do yoga and meditation uh, from, uh, from sort of people and some gurus. And after a year, I turned myself into yoga teacher. Maybe it was a, a little bit, I, I was not perfect, but I got that chance. When I am a teacher, I get to get into the topic I go for the study, get some top, some points to deliver it to other person that make me more sound. And even today, this morning, before this meeting, uh, I was there to get international yoga, international training of yoga and meditation that was uh, uh, given from Australia. That is, I'm, uh, that is uh, virtually, I'm taking part of this. And, uh, it's not too late to get something that if you hungry to get it uh, for your life, doing yoga and med meditation, it's not 
just for the body it is for mind and soul and it makes your day and you, your um, your uh, lifestyle and your entire life uh, will be more enjoyable more fitted i hardly go to the hospital not for myself but to see other people they are lying on the bed taking medicines taking fruits and horlicks but my request you do not bring horlicks to me in hospital bring it home we will share it and we we so take it we can enjoy we, we, we can enjoy so my my suggestion it's not late uh, it's not too late to take any suggestions any ideas go for the yoga session take some uh, some tips and some some tricks that learn it no problem it's it does not take it it may take many days many weeks many months many year no problem just my suggestion my request let's do go for it and uh, bring it like uh, today everyone uh, talking about today's meeting everyone uh, has done a good job in their respective role talking about uh, meeting leader to uh, hot topic master it's not hot question master it is hot topic master like uh, speaker pratik said i i always i always suggest to do that um and other role takers like his speakers and uh, the best speech from raskin and best evaluation from pratik and um, other indirect role takers like uh, like grammarian like timer and uh, filler word counter and i don't know this uh, person erogen healthcare who is that uh, our request is to come into yeah. the face Oh, you we want to namaste yeah. you agorian please namaste uh, agorian health care on your video turn your video on let's have a let's have a picture together and let's post it in our social page uh, so that many other people may think that i i regretly missed that meeting and uh, hope to see you in next week with this enthusiasm and uh, and another request is please bring one friend with you thank you yeah, so much thank you for your roles yeah. and thank you for participating and thank you for making this meeting a fruitful one yeah thank you thank everyone you, yeah i sus subscribed you all oh, your thank you <laughs> this business <laughs> and request for you <laughs> okay Oh yeah, finally see. Hi. Hello, namaste. Hi. Good morning. Yeah. It's a beautiful face. Yeah, thank you very much and <laughs> oh, I, yeah, welcome. Uh I was just I was just I was just uh, like uh, what to say observing like how the meeting goes on and like how can I learn from this meeting, no? And actually actually i was looking for such a group that where i can learn i can wait, where i can improve my english and like where i can improve my fluency and i was um still not yet decided which group i should join and i'm uh, like it's still i'm so poor okay so uh your fluency ma'am your fluency is better than ours no mm -hmm. sir no 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 not at all so i have been watching you all speaking and it's really well you, you you all are doing really well and i want to be the same like you all <laughs> and i hope like you have started the journey like um, the way i am right now so i hope i will be able to improve my english and my fluency very soon and so i was um i was i was trying to know the how the meeting goes and what is the uh, in what way the meeting goes you know so can you please make me uh, can you please guide me like if i have to join the group like what is the process or there is some formal procedure to join the uh, meeting or something like that yeah can you give us your email basically can you just uh, write your email in the chat box yes 
and can we have an introduction please like uh, what you do your name and how did you know about yeah. uh so uh, namaste everyone and actually uh, my name is januka bista and i work in orogin healthcare where we provide here transplantation service dental service physiotherapy and orogin care home service all is care service so I work as a sales and marketing department out there. And I have been working in this organization since I think four years. And um, since I am in sales and marketing, de marketing department, I realized that I, I need to improve my English and I need to improve my vocabulary as well as my fluency. And that's why I'm looking to join in all those groups. So that is, that's all. And regarding this group, I came to know uh, through my uh, sir, I think, uh, what was his name? I, I forgot, like he's my actually um, uh, teacher and he suggested me to join this group and it is really helpful for you. And that's why I like, I joined this group. So- Welcome, uh, welcome to you. Thank you, thank you. And it's- Your fluency is great. Your fluency is great. If you, um, develop your fluency you will be run so, we cannot catch you so and, yeah and and the, today's theme is so like so good and nice very nice to like uh, uh it's i mean the theme is really good and i was thinking that yeah it's really not late the, even though now oh, i like yeah. what what people says is no like whatever you have to learn you have to learn during the school time and during your college time and after that like um, you you may not be like uh, like you may not fit to join the classes and all those things no and I, now i realize that even though i'm already i have already completed my education studies not like at least uh so i realize that it's still it's not late for me to start learning english <laughs> yeah it's really not late. no yeah you are right never too late for do something if somebody thinks that it is yeah. too late yeah. uh, it is laziness Yes. So one thing, can we all just, you know, turn on our videos and smile for the camera? I'll take one screenshot and then... Yeah, Rosni, are you there? Rosni? Yeah, Rosni. We want, so, we want to not to miss you. Yeah, without Rosni, the photo cannot come. Oh, uh, no, the no light. light. Yeah. No beauty. So... Okay, thank you. I'll go outside. Okay. Are we done with the picture? Uh, once more, okay, once more. Uh, yeah, yeah. Eyes are closed. I should be beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just, three, two, I'm one or something? Because, because, outside, so that it would be a good connection, internet connection. It's really worse here. Yeah. Don't worry, it's right. You are looking beautiful. Don't worry. Thank you so much. Is it done? Uh, yeah, I think. I think so. Okay. Actually, I just joined to see how the meeting goes. Okay, I, I like I'm. The, that's why it's like so informal environment and all these things. And I'm so sorry for that. Okay. No worries. All right, guys. Uh, I need to go. I'll uh, see you next week. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. I have to sleep. Bye bye. So you can send your email in our Facebook page. Also. We have Facebook page.